And I had a hard question to answer. Was I just going to dream about being a songwriter? Or was I actually going to get off my butt and pursue songwriting? So I chose the latter and I have not looked back since. And it has been a journey uh, for sure, right? If you're in the songwriting world, you know that it's been a journey. But I started digging in and learning everything I could about songwriting. I found a coach. I read books. I hired a mentor. I invested everything I could into honing my craft. And I'm still doing that today because we never stop learning. We never stop investing um, into our craft, right? Welcome to the first episode of the Songwriting Chronicles, where we're diving into the soul of songwriting note by note. I'm your host, Sunday Joe, and I am beyond excited to take you on a journey through the captivating world of songwriting. Before we get started, though, here's the big question you might be asking. Why another podcast on songwriting in a world full of podcasts? Because unique voices uniquely host every podcast. Say that three times fast. Here's the thing, though. I'm not going to do it like everybody else does. Somebody else won't do it quite like I do it, right? Because we all have something to say. After all, we're songwriters. I hope we have something to say. So I listen to many podcasts on songwriting. I listen to a ton of them and they're all awesome. But I wanted to take you on my journey of the process, the writing, the pitching, the relationship building, the wins, the heartaches, all of it, uh, in hopes that it inspires you to keep pushing forward on your journey as a songwriter too. So if you're completely new here and you have no clue who in the heck I am, I am excited that you're here. And if you've been hanging out with me for a while and you're eager to support the Songwriting Chronicles, I am excited that you are here too. I hope that we're going to have some fun together. So before we go any further, if you don't know me, I want to give you a quick rundown. I'm a singer and songwriter living in Branson, Missouri. I write in multiple genres, country, Southern gospel, contemporary Christian, Americana, um, and I am about to get my first official cut as an outside songwriter. So that's exciting. More details coming on that soon. And I'm also pretty passionate about my faith. I've been through a few things in life. Some of it, I've written about it. Some of it hasn't made it into a song quite yet, but I'm sure that it will someday. So now for just a second, let's talk about my love for music. So I was around eight years old. I was visiting my dad for the weekend. Uh, and it seemed like he always had the radio on. And it set on top of this uh, the spice rack um, above the stove. And I, I, I can just see it there still as I'm talking about it, just clear as day. And I remember one day, I heard the most beautiful voice I'd ever heard coming out of that speaker. Miss Dolly Parton was singing uh, Silver and Gold. It stopped me in my tracks. I immediately went home, begged my mom to buy me the cassette tape with that song on it. And I had her, uh, her uh, cassette, Eagle When She Flies, on repeat. I played that thing until I wore the tape out. And if you want to Google what a cassette tape is, I promise it'll change your life. But to this day, that's my favorite song. Silver and Gold, still my favorite song, still my favorite album. But something came alive in me that day, and I fell in love with country music. Like It didn't matter what pain I was going through. I could lock myself in my bedroom. I could turn on music, and I could just drown out the world. And from that moment forward, I knew in my heart that I would grow up and somehow be involved with music. And today, here I am doing just that. Songwriting, writing books, Bible studies, singing, comedy, acting, all the things. Hey, are you a songwriter looking to take your creativity to the next level? Listen up, because I got something special just for you. Introducing the Full Focus Planner, your ultimate tool for unleashing your songwriting potential. It's time to go beyond ordinary notebooks and scattered ideas and take control of your creative process. I've used it for years and it has changed how I pursue my songwriting goals. With the Full Focus Planner, you'll find a structured system designed specifically for a songwriter like you. It's the perfect companion to help you set clear goals, plan your songwriting sessions, and stay on track to create your best work. So imagine having a dedicated space to capture your inspirations, to map out your song structures, track your progress all in one place. The Full Focus Planner provides a powerful platform to organize your thoughts and ideas, ensuring that no brilliant melody or lyric slips through the cracks. But it doesn't stop there. The Full Focus Planner also incorporates proven productivity strategies that help you manage your time effectively 
eliminate distractions, and stay focused on what truly matters to you, your music, right? I seriously, I call my planner my second brain. I can't imagine trying to navigate through the ins and outs of every day without it. It truly is a lifesaver. So whether you're a seasoned songwriter or you're just starting out, the Full Focus Planner is a game changer. It empowers you to establish a routine, maintain consistency, and confidently achieve your songwriting goals. So why settle for average when you can excel? Elevate your songwriting journey today with the Full Focus Planner. You can find the link in the show notes. And when you use code SUNDIJOE10, that's S-U-N-D-I-J-O-10, you'll get $10 off your first order. And I'll share the link in the show notes for you. But it wasn't until 2020 that I started taking songwriting seriously again. I actually moved to Nashville in 2001, right out of high school, which doesn't add up, right? Because I'm only 21, but it was the wrong time to go. My aunt was dying from cancer. And then I had an experience in town that kind of scared me. Um, I'll go into that maybe another day, but after about four months, I moved back home. And honestly, I just couldn't get my life together. I spent years trying to get my life together. And I would still write every now and again, but I I just hung up the dream for a while. But back in 2020, I'd been writing, but more for my own, you know, emotional processing, not really to pursue it as a career. But that year, everything changed. So I was teaching personal and professional development uh, in about four different prisons at that time. So I would help justice-involved individuals find their identities, find faith in their their ability to become better people. I'd, I'd help them find a way to chase their dreams and, and believe in themselves enough to find a promising, stable career when they got out. But I was so busy helping them chase their dreams that I wasn't even chasing my own. But then the, the great uh, toilet paper crisis of 2020 happened, right? And there was no more teaching in prison. Boom, just like that, it was done. The whole world shut down. If you remember, I'm sure you remember. So I sat in my living room and I wondered what was next. And I remember looking over at this binder of songs I had, this big old blue binder I'd written when I was 12, 13, something like that. And uh, there, so there were songs in there from that age all the way up to, to the most recent. And I had a really good talk with the Lord that day. And I had a hard question to answer. Was I just going to dream about being a songwriter? Or was I actually going to get off my butt and pursue songwriting? So I chose the latter and I have not looked back since. And it has been a journey uh, for sure, right? If you're in the songwriting world, you know that it's been a journey. But I started digging in and learning everything I could about songwriting. I found a coach. I read books. I hired a mentor. I invested everything I could into honing my craft. And I'm still doing that today because we never stop learning. We never stop investing um, into our craft, right? But here I am four years later, still chasing that dream. But I'm doing it strategically this time, right? I'm, I'm setting goals. I'm not just dreaming about it. And so I mentioned earlier that I've secured my first cut as an outside songwriter um, in the Southern gospel genre. I can't wait to tell you more about it as it unfolds. But I've also secured three single song contracts. I'm constantly pitching songs. I'm building relationships with industry professionals. I'm co-writing all the things. I'm in the hustle, as they like to call it, right? And those single song contracts are more than I had when I started, right? It's way more than I had when I started again in 2020 which means we can only do one next step at a time, right? So in 2023, the Lord put it on my heart to start releasing some of my own stuff. Um, And let me just tell you, I ventured out and I did that afraid because that was not on my radar. But I released my first song as an artist in February of 2023 called Jesus and Time, which is a song I wrote with my buddies, uh, Chris Tiscarino, Brad Hacker, and Patrick Adams. And the song is really a personal journey. Um, It's about a friend of mine who I watched going in and out of an abusive relationship. So I highly encourage you to listen to it if you want to get in the feels, if you want some inspiration to keep moving forward. Um, It's a really uh, heartfelt song. I'll share the link to that in the show notes for you. But since then, I've released two more songs and I'm planning to uh, keep releasing music as I keep moving forward. Um, and like I said, I talked about Jesus in time, but you can listen to Jesus in time. Everything will be all right. It's another single I wrote and where in the world. Um, and you can listen to those wherever you stream music. And again, I will share the link, uh, to those in the show notes for you. And so to say all that, 
I'm excited to take you on the journey with me through the Songwriting Chronicles. I'm gonna share with you things I'm learning. We're gonna do some interviews. Hopefully I'll be able to save you some mistakes, uh, just like others have helped me do the same. And so we're gonna talk with other songwriters. We're gonna talk with other industry pros, all the things I'm looking forward to. It's gonna be fun. Uh, so get your seatbelt on and uh, let's get ready to rock and roll. So with that, make sure you subscribe to the Songwriting Chronicles wherever you listen. And if you'll do me a big favor, share it with a friend so we can get this podcast to as many people as possible. So I'm glad you're here, my friend. Cannot wait for us to take this journey together. And with that said, I will see you in the next episode of the Songwriting Chronicles. Thanks for listening to my Aunt Esther's podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And remember this, keep writing, keep dreaming and keep pushing forward because your words matter.